Hi, my name is Scott Silva. Uh, I'm going to be doing a little series on uh, building a hyperbaric chamber. And um, my interest was piqued about uh, oxygen therapy and hyperbaric chambers when I had two friends that had some relatively remarkable results coming from just a few treatments. Uh, I've done a lot of uh, research on Google and uh, YouTube to see what information I could get from uh, those sources. I've called a lot of different um, uh, hyperbaric clinics and talked with I don't know how many people about hyperbaric uh, therapy. And uh, so anyway, I'm a fabricator and uh, uh, one of the things that I noticed uh, on YouTube and uh, Google was the fact that uh, hyperbaric chambers now are becoming portable hyperbaric chambers and you can buy them. Um, and of course one of the first places I looked was Google to see if I could buy one and the one I bid on would just went way out of sight. And um, uh, so the portable hyperbaric chamber has been coming really popular lately. So um, I'm glad I didn't buy the one I did because in a little more research there are different uh, pressure ratings that uh, hyperbaric chambers operate in and traditionally the more common ones are about 4 psi and mine is rated at 7. So um, uh, that's what I'm building and uh, th the chamber that I'm building is uh, uh, is metal and of course the advantage to some of the uh, portable ones that are out there are their canvas. Um, they have a little framework and you can move them in through a doorway the traditional ones that are in the hospitals are big, enormous things that weigh could be thousands of pounds. Um, and so uh, my design is just kind of uh, two halves fitting together so I can uh, uh, at least move it in through a doorway. And, uh, um, uh, so uh, Another interesting thing that I've read is uh, Oxygen Revolution, and this is a doctor that has literally spent 30 years in the uh, uh, hyperbaric medicine industry, and he's trying to bring the awareness of hyperbaric therapy uh, uh, into the awareness of the common everyday folk. And he's just done some amazing things with hyperbaric therapy in um, uh, dealing with stroke victims, uh, diving accidents, people with brain injuries, um, cerebral palsy, and uh, it's really inspired me. And uh, one of the things that he says in his book is uh, it, it's just a miracle when the brain gets enough oxygen to turn on, which is <laughs> kind of interesting to me. Uh, the other kind of quotes that, that are uh, out there, it, uh, oxygen to the brain is like uh, uh, water to the desert. And uh, with that, I'm just going to go ahead and do the process of uh, building this chamber. And uh, you can follow along if you like. And uh, uh, I'll just see you again on another edition of Building a Hyperbaric Chamber.